Now, what's funny is the lead singer of the band Judas Priest came out of the closet a couple years ago. No big deal, no one cared. But can you imagine if he had done that back in the 80s when his band was at their height? And with that in mind, am I the only one, you look at the Judas Priest videos from the 80s with what we know now, and you see him strutting around the leather dog collar and the whips and chains and the leather codpiece, and you're just like, how did nobody pick up on this? <laughs> that man was a genius at reverse camouflage. <laughs> Do you ever think at the height of his success, Rob Halper looked out over a stadium of 20,000 mullet-haired homophobic shop kids that he had inspired to wear dog collars and leather cod pieces, and he just thinks to himself, I know something you don't know. Can't have gays in the military. I think that's a big mistake. I think we need more gays in the military. We'd find all the terrorists by now and put them in charge. You try and keep a secret from a gay man once he puts his mind to it. <laughs> Oh, you can't have gays in the military. I think the U.S. Army was founded by homosexuals, and I'm going to prove it. My first day in basic training, they gave me a shaved head, a pair of black leather boots, and threw me in a group shower with 20 naked men. Now, you tell me, how gay is that? <laughs> and for the next eight weeks, I had to get up, polish my shoes, iron my clothes, and everywhere I went, I had to walk and sing in perfect rhythm. Now, you show me the straight man who fought that up. 